day everyone. Welcome back to our SAP Enterprise Asset Management Training. On the previous presentation, we discussed the solutions and deployment of Enterprise Asset Management as well as the user interface and user experience. So for today's training, we will discuss the organizational structure of Enterprise Asset Management. Question, does SAP EAM have organizational structure? Of course, yes. And this structure is made up of the following units, which are, first, we have the client, which is the highest level of unit. Second, we have the controlling area, it is used to represent a closed system for cost accounting purposes. Third is the company code, which is the smallest org unit of financial accounting. Fourth is the plant. It is one of the most important structure in EAM. Fifth is the maintenance plant where technical objects are physically present in the plant and maintenance activities which are carried out in this area. And the last is the planning plant, which the maintenance tasks for the objects are planned and prepared. Next is the maintenance processing overview. Maintenance processing comprises several levels which do not necessarily all have to be implemented in full. So that will be based on client requirements. It is therefore possible to process a repair using many planning stages such as preliminary costing, work scheduling, material provision, resource planning, and permits. So, here is the maintenance processing overview of enterprise asset management. From notification, order, availability check, purchase requisition, purchase order, goods issuance, schedule and release of maintenance order, order confirmation, and the last is order closing. Next is the core processes of SAP Enterprise Asset Management prior to S4 HANA release. Way back ECC days, there are a lot of processes present in plant maintenance, like calibration maintenance, refurbishment maintenance, which boils down to the same procedure as corrective maintenance. So to avoid confusion, S4HANA provides three core main processes which are simplified based on the standard processes of an organization. We have the corrective maintenance, emergency maintenance, and preventive maintenance. So let's focus first on corrective maintenance as per rapidsap.com. Corrective maintenance is conducted to improve the working condition of the machine. It is performed when a malfunction is detected and the machine is not operating properly as per the designated function. So, let's take a look on the corrective maintenance process released by S4HANA. So, this is the corrective maintenance process of Enterprise Asset Management with BH1 code. This process composed of the following entities. Employee, Maintenance Planner, Maintenance Technician, Warehouse Clerk, Purchaser, and Accounts Payable Accountant. 
for the task of each entity, let's say for example, we have a scenario wherein breakdown or failure of equipment occur. Employee can request a maintenance using the SAP Fiori app and monitor its maintenance request. For the maintenance planner task, after a request has been made and notified by the employee, maintenance planner can validate the report and change the details of maintenance request made by the employee. Once maintenance request has been finalized, the maintenance planner can now create a maintenance order. After an order has been made with operation details and materials needed if there is, the maintenance planner can now release the maintenance order. For the maintenance technician task, after an order has been released and get notified by the maintenance planner, maintenance technician can now print the job card as reference for the maintenance details. For warehouse clerk task, post goods issue and receipt should be done. For purchaser task, conversion of PR to PO should be done. For accounts payable accountant, creation of supplier invoice with POGR generation should be made. Then release of supplier invoice should be done. After all materials are available for repair, the maintenance technician can now execute the maintenance job. After completing the maintenance job, the maintenance technician needs to confirm if the equipment is working and in good condition. After completing the maintenance job, the maintenance technician will inform the maintenance planner for technically completion of maintenance order in the system. Then the maintenance order will be subject for period settlement.